Hey there! This video is about using basic mythic mob functions. And this is part one, where we are covering basic mob options you might need. Starting off with the internal mob name that is referenced for spawning the mob or any other referencing in mythic mobs. Now, let's call this zombie1. Could be anything. It could just be, if you want to be a quick typer, you just do z1 or z1, however you pronounce it. Let's call it zombie1 though. Um, next up is the mob type. This is not case sensitive and it can be anything that is in the vanilla game as of currently. You can make it an ender dragon, a wither, a zombie, a sheep, or a baby zombie villager. Anything is possible. Um, since we use zombie as a name, let's make this a zombie. Again, not case sensitive, can also do it like oops, this. Health, damage, and display are uh, all optional. You don't have to have these in here. Um, if you, let's say, do not have this health line, if you deleted that, it would just use uh, the standard health of a vanilla Minecraft zombie. We want a stronger zombie though, so we're gonna give it 150 health which corresponds to 75 hearts. Each two health is always one heart. Damage is the same thing. Um, it would use the standard zombie damage, but let's do 10 here, which would correspond to five hearts per hit. Note here that the damage value only applies to melee attacks, not ranged attacks, so this would have no um, impact at all at the damage um, done by a skeleton on a ranged attack, for instance. Display name. Let's make it a special zombie. Also, you can use Minecraft color coding in here. For instance, M7 would make it gray, and adding and O would make it italic. So this would say in grey italic special zombie, or why not call it a mythic zombie. Now that is that. Now we're going into the options. Age and age lock actually only apply to peaceful mob kind of types that you can breed. Um, the age is for um, one um, an adult adult um, mob which would be an adult sheep, adult pig, adult cow, adult mushroom cow, or an adult chicken. If you wanted a baby chicken, for instance, you would make it H-1. And if you were to have the mob stay as a baby chicken, like, forever, you would set the age lock to true. By default, the age lock is set to false, so you need this line if you want the mob to stay a baby mob. Since we are having a zombie here, though, this won't do anything. And I'm going to delete this. Despawn is set to true by default. If this were to be a special kind of boss mob, we would set this to false for the mob to stay in the world until killed or removed manually. Follow range. I do not know what the default value in this actually is, but we want a zombie that can track you from really far away, so let's make this a 50 block radius. If a zombie is in that range, of any player, it will try to pursue this player. Knockback resistance is set to zero by default. Again, by the way, all these lines are optional. You don't have to have them in here. If we wanted a mob that is um, not be um, that cannot be knocked back at all, we would make this a one. And this mob would be impossible to knock back. If we wanted to have a 50% chance of being knocked back, we would make it 0.5. Let's go with 0.25, chance of getting, of not becoming knocked back. <coughs> Excuse me. The maximum combat distance is um, is a confusing name for this. Maybe um, the number of blocks here indicates how far a player can be away and still do damage to the mob. Now let's say. The maximum combat instance is 30. If a player is within a 30 block range now, 
he can do damage to the mob. But as soon as he is 31 blocks away, he cannot do damage anymore. This is used to prevent abuse of the mob. The movement speed. The default here is 0.2. And again, this line is optional. Um, you have to be careful with these values. If you make them too high, um, the mob will glitch out and move extremely fast and cannot hit players anymore and will actually hurt itself. It's really weird. Fun to look at, of course. If you want a really fast kind of zombie, make it 0.3. That is already very fast. And if you want a slow kind of type, you make it 0.1. You have to experiment with the values to find out what you need, but 0.2 is standard movement speed. Prevent item pickup is used to prevent the mob from picking up items on the ground. This is used if you have custom gear on your mob which you don't want to change. Default is set to false. Let's say this mob will get special equipment later, which shall not be overwritten, so we set this to true. Prevent other drops is to prevent vanilla drops from the mob. A zombie usually drops iron as a rare drop, his armor, which he is wearing, or rotten flesh, carrots, potatoes, and a certain amount of XP. If we want this to be true, then it will not do those drops anymore. Only the drops which we specify in the drop tables of the mob. But we want the mob to drop that stuff, so we keep it at false. Prevent renaming is something that is set to true by default as well. It will prevent players from using name tags on that mob. That is everything that does. And we don't want this to happen because we want it to display mythic zombie all the time. So we set this to true.